when you mention China and then you say freedom and love, yeah, for the haters, their blood spike. You see, I've been called all sorts of names creating videos about China, but I truly believe one can be happy and free in a foreign place. Not trying to be in Nana, I mean honestly, what does happiness mean to you? Well, look no farther. Because this place, China, will confront you with supreme reality. When you mention China, they say communist. China, no freedom. China, oppress. China, one cannot be happy. Then I say it's BS. Your mind has been wired to hate on a place you've never been. I'm not trying to be a gleep. But stay tuned and see the real China. My last day in Hubei province in Wuhan, taking a stroll around. Yeah, it is extremely hot in Wuhan. Truck going past to cool the hair. No matter how hot or cold the weather or the situation is in China, here the people are resilient, hardworking, and generally nice. There is a cool way to see the city on an Alipay bike. The one thing I've came to enjoy about China is people watching. And here you see interesting characters, a guy pulling on the side of his truck selling some fruit. And a guy on a scooter taking a sneaky picture of me with a flashing police car at the back. Hey, arrest him. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm having some slight difficulties with my Alipay bike changing and swapping like a madman I'm changing this bike because the stand is wobble <laughs> the stand is not resting there so, so this will be my third bike now then it's damn hot here and the bikes are even hotter yeah yeah I like bikes mm-hmm motorbikes Cycling in this damn heat, I will never forget. For a moment, anyways, I mean, where's the good things are? Because in the afternoon, man, I'm hungry. There is a place in Wuhan in downtown Abadov. Rating top notch. Beef noodles, they say, exceptional. Michelin style, cheap, and also delicious. This street is the street of giving. Lively and vibrant. Local queuing in numbers. Yeah, a sign of a good thing. You see, these days I try to stay away from street food, but damn, can't stay away from this. Beef noodles, stare, stare. Mmm, give me that. 
You see, in China, you don't need to look far for the tasty, the good, the delicious, and of course, the friendly vibes everywhere. Listen, yeah, my friend, I'm treated better. If you're really nice like me, I mean, a chocolate nice like me, then no matter where you go, you're treated better. I live in Tianjin. I live in Tianjin. Yeah, in no, 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 no. I'm just traveling here. Oh, traveling. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this lo lovely local. Yeah, you want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> they crack a conversation. Let's, tr let's try this bad boy. This is so tasty. Delicious in every angle, honestly. Great. Super local, very, very cheap. I think this one's gonna cost me like 18 yuan. And uh, definitely, definitely tasty food. And I will see outside once I finish my breakfast. This is my breakfast in the morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to say hi to the camera. Hello, you got this one there as well. Hello, say hi. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got a young man there. A different culture. You embrace the food. This is part of the reason why I bloody love China. Honestly, I don't care what you think out there. No, this is not stage. This is everything you're seeing here. It is factual and uh, uh, this is not scripted. This is how it is really. And I uh, create free quality documentary on this channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. The heartland of bright smile and delicious, delicious food I've never had of. Damn, this is premium good. In the UK, you pay large, very, very large. But here, it costs next to nothing. So good. I'm spoiled, I'm hooked for life. I can never go back to the things I've known. My joy and happiness ramify in different areas of pure love. And in some time, it blows the mind. How can you hate this place? I'm always impressed, by the way, China go about things. You know, it's a family place, friendly, good vibes. And that's the way it is here in China. This is the reason why um, uh, I don't see myself leaving anytime soon. Initially, I planned to stay in China for one year, and one year has passed now. And then, guess what? I'm still here. Unbelievable, really. And people from different angles or direction, they're looking and staring at me, but they're smiling. That's the beauty, right? No one is there trying to attack me or steal my camera or trying to shank me. Not a chance, really. Look at this guy down there. Hello, hello. There you go, that's the vibe here. This is the reason why I bloody love China. Yeah, yeah, there are things you may find strange. But then again, it's part of the experience. I'm in a throwing place, I adapt, and I learn. And so far, here in China, my life has been nothing but impressed. This country never ceases to amaze me. With his long stretch of pedestrian streets, It's a wonderful space, and then I'm drawn to this shop. Oh, the price in here. In China, no one cares about your personal belongings. 
I whack down my camera and it's on my back. And then I worry about nothing. Yeah, very safe. Look, Helen Harlan and Phil Foden. Hate these guys, because I'm a Chelsea fan. Yeah, yeah, love ya. Who on is a large city? An economic powers of China. And of course here, yeah, the city is split in different districts. And this place is nice, very nice. None of us can escape the heat. Because in Wuhan, it is damn hot. Summertime in Wuhan, I encourage you to escape at all costs. Boy, oh boy. But of course, I'm making my way to the riverside for a nice stroll. I'm struggling here with the heat. I am literally struggling, mate. So hot, so bloody hot here on even this car is hot. <laughs> Oh my goodness man, bloody hell man, it's so hot here, so hot. Wait, wait, wait. Chinese men really love basketball, I mean they're obsessed with it. Yeah, partaking a game of theatrical celebration and of course, marvellous, spectacular light shows. It's not juice spitting, and I can't argue that, here in China, I am treated better. I mean, as a black guy, I mean, in this city, the city actually surprised me, really. Um, Wuhan. <laughs> you know, the people are very generous. I remember the first few hours, I was just like walking around and I stumbled into this guy, yeah, this lady. She was making uh, a duck. I mean, it's a roasted duck, right? Absolutely catchy. Um, yeah, definitely. And I was like, ah. I just want to get um, a sample of that, you know, start. Uh, as I approach, uh, the guy was like, hey, hi, how are you? You know, the people here, very, 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 very friendly, you know? And then he took a picture of me, of course I was recording, and then, and then he said, like, you know what, you can have this Pepsi for free, and also the wrap as well, the flat wrap. And uh, that was, that was special, honestly. That was really, great church and from that point on honestly it's it's been impressive I like the fact that the people here and uh, they're very expressive in a way they, they see foreigners I did saw quite a few um, foreigners but I didn't I didn't see no um, other black person maybe there's a specific um, side of Wuhan 
and uh, you can find uh, black people there maybe maybe I'm not quite sure or maybe there's a specific area here in Wuhan you can mainly see foreigners hello hi hi how are you, you okay <laughs> how are you? you okay look at this young lady <laughs> what's your name hmm? shy see that's the thing huh? take care bye bye <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the thing I like about China and how, uh, no matter how dark the situation is or the place is, really, um, you should not worry at all when it comes to our safety. It is very, very, very safe. Honestly, I apologise. Um, I just can't make it to the yellow crane tower, something like that. And uh, that is the top attraction here. I was actually hoping to see that in the evening. And then I quickly realized the traffic here in Wuhan it is not great. No. Jumping on the on the DD app, it's it's very very straightforward really. And uh, but it's just like the traffic to go there and the distance as well to where I currently so where I currently staying, you know, it's a yeah, it's a long drive and I don't want to be sitting, you know, in a taxi for 45 minute one way and then another 45 minute is just too long just to go and see a tower I know it's a very historical tower but come on you can wait for another day <laughs> as a black traveler traveling across China and have been impressed every day living here I feel comfortable I feel relaxed and I feel loved by the people of course you give respect and you receive respect in return I encourage you to go to China and be humble and then Relax and enjoy the peaceful and giving and friendly vibe of the Chinese people because China and the Chinese who I've ever known are just hospitable, nice, friendly and of course free to express themselves at night.